I'm very glad YouTube has a block button. I get people that come here and it seems like all they want to do is cause a, a disturbance, right? They don't agree with my brothers and sisters in the comments section. They don't agree with me. I'll have a couple of comments back and forth and a lot of people fly off the handle and I, I'm just like in shock. I had to block someone and I asked them a very simple question and they flew off the handle giving a big sentence about, you know, they, they questioned me, me as being a Christian. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> and again, like life is too short to have a conversation with someone who is so far off the mark. And it's not to say that I don't want that person to be saved, but a lot of people profess to be a Christian and they don't understand a lot of things about Christianity and it blows my mind. And when I leave them a comment or two saying like, you know, let me try and help you or let me give you a comment here back and forth. And they really ruin it by being rude and just abrasive and kind of stupid, to be honest with you. So again, dust off my feet, <laughs> move on. Uh, I don't make a habit of this because I want people to be saved. And if someone doesn't understand something, I want to inform them and I want to help them. But sometimes you just got to move on. When, when people make fun of my brothers and sisters and chime in in comment section, and I really wonder why they're on this channel in the first place, and I asked, I'm like, are you a Christian? And someone says, how dare you do this? How dare you question my Christianity? And give me a break. Like, give me an absolute break. So I'm grateful for the block and move on button. In this video, we're looking at Jesus, not Jesus, Jesus Castro, he's a Spanish actor. What an absolute surprise. He's doing the Eye of Horus, the slam dunk version, where he darkens one eye utterly, covering half his face, doing one eye symbolism, the Eye of Horus. That's what he's doing. He keeps the vow of silence about fame, fortune, and success, and about how the world works in the biblical world, and most likely about Freemasonry. He's doing the vow of silence again. He's hiding his hand in his shirt the way a Freemason would do. He's hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. I repeat myself very often on this channel, but can you blame me? Can you understand why? Because there's like a, a non-stop supply of these people that hide their hands in their coats like Freemasons because they are Freemasons. Why is that a problem? Lucifer the Lightbearer, who is Satan, is the god of Freemasonry. That's their god. That's why they have fame, fortune, and success. They're not naturally God-given talented. They are sold out to the world, and they get a paycheck for it, and they get to like move on in degrees and this, that, and the other. They're just so successful, right? Meanwhile, real Christians deal with this nonsense every single day. The world is biblical. Biblical cosmology matters. The average person has no clue what reality is. They just live their life, la-di-da, in like a dreamland, living a lie, not being aware, not trying to research at all, not praying to God, not doing anything important, but just like, I want my best life now. I'm a good person. I believe in God. I'll go to heaven. Doesn't work that way. I hope more people will wake up and realize what the world is, especially so-called Christians that come on this channel and start giving negative comments about things. How about you talk honestly? How about you be polite about things instead of ranting and raving about like, oh, how dare you comment about this and that and the other. I'm so done with some of the YouTube comments. People are really like brain dead. They are. They're brainwashed and brain dead. They can't form a complete sentence. They don't even know what they're talking about. Have they researched? No, they haven't. And it's frustrating and annoying. Brothers and sisters, I know you understand this. I don't want to complain, but I want to do this channel and hopefully not have people that come on here and just like 
start spouting lies and frustration at me, directed towards me and my brothers and sisters, when they really don't have a clue about what's going on in reality. It's a shame, it's sad, it's embarrassing, it's annoying. It's a lot of things that aren't the truth. The truth is, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, born of a virgin, immaculate conception, lived a perfect sinless life. He went to the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures, the Holy Bible. This is for salvation. We're all sinners. Jesus died for sins of the world, all the sins of the world. He's the only way to heaven, the only way to the Father, the only way for forgiveness, the only way for truth. He is the way, the truth, the life forever and ever. He will not change. I hope more people realize this. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.